All right, morning day 58. Uh, I'm almost packed up. Some birds fly by. I'm hawking. They've been decently hawking all day, all, all morning, so it hasn't been that bad. But uh, yeah, this campsite um, and moving on to the next lake. And I looked again last night, and it's about 24 miles of official trail. I'll probably cut off maybe a mile or two. So it's going to be a, a decently big day for me. Uh, but there's a shelter at the end, and it's supposed to rain all day and all night tonight, so I want to get to that. Uh, in fact, there's a couple shelters, actually three shelters, in my future for the next three days, uh, if I can get to them, which I think I can. Uh, so, yeah, that's the goal. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of road walking. Then it's going to be some actual trail, which I'm going to be uh, happy about. Uh, so that's, uh, and it's warm. It's like almost... I mean, yeah, it's 7.10 right now, and I'm in my t-shirt, so it's like 50 degrees. It's beautiful out right now. And, uh, yeah, so I don't have to wear my jacket today, which uh, hopefully becomes a more normal thing. All right, later. All right. It's supposed to start raining in the next hour or so, so I want to get some sights and sounds in before that happens. <laughs> uh, still relatively early. It's 7.50. And, uh, yeah, it's amazing how much easier it is to get up when you have a comfortable sleeping bed so you can sleep all night and it doesn't get, it's not cold in the morning. <laughs> and I was like, I think I got down to like 50 or something like that, not even that, so it's great. Uh, so yeah, I have a good start today, which I need, because I'm thinking I'm about to break a record. Close to 23 miles in a day, so. Let's get out of the way of this car. Uh, yeah, and I uh, get to end at a shelter too, I think. I'm not exactly sure where that shelter is. It's not really clear on the, the far out guide, but that's the goal. And uh, if I don't see a shelter, there's still places to camp. But yeah, more fallow fields everywhere. All right, later. Just, just wanted to note, I think I am in the flat part of the state, a little bit. Last few miles have been completely flat and it looks like next to you or be the same. At least until I get to the hills over there, but yeah. This is gonna become the new normal, right? Hopefully, especially once I get to Indiana. But uh, yeah, nice, quick uh, jog or walk down this road. This is the trail. It really isn't, well, I guess there's grass over here, but everything's still wet, so I'm just on the road. But yeah, it's great. All right, better. All right, it's a little past 9 o'clock, 9.20. About five miles in. And just sprinkling right now. Not, the rain really hasn't come yet, but I imagine it will. Uh, it's actually supposed to light up a little bit in like a 10 or 10 to 12, so. It's not as bad as it was being predicted, but still. Poncho, <laughs> looking great. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. A lot more flatness, which I'm liking. The hills have not uh, suddenly appeared in front of me, so let's see how long that lasts. All right, there. All right, on to uh, actual trail. You know, it's one big muddy mess right now because of the rain over the last week or so. Even with a nice couple days off that we had, but it's going to get worse because uh, it's actually going to be thunderstorms tomorrow. So it's going to be fun going through all this stuff when that happens. <laughs> Let's see. 
So I'm gonna try to get across this messy stuff. All right. Yeah. Always try to avoid getting your shoes <laughs> or your socks wet or muddy. Just uh, yeah. As I have to deal with all this crap. All right. See you guys later. Once I get a view of the lake, which is supposedly right next to me, it's probably right over that ridge. Right there. All right. A little bit of a clearing in the middle of my actual trail. We're at a little bit better uh, footing, but yeah, it's been a muddy mess most of the way. Not that bad, but uh, something I have to be uh, conscious of pretty much every step. Just so I don't step in something big, which will be not fun. But uh, yeah, so in the beginning of the day, so I have like 24 miles, like definitely miscounted, subtracted wrong. Uh, it's more like 17. So I only got maybe five miles left on the day. And it's only like. 12:45 right now, so started early, finishing it, which is which is good because it's supposed to start raining pretty hard around four or five o'clock. It's going to last all day, all night. I mean, and uh, so it'll be nice to get to the shelter that's hopefully here uh, where I'm near. I'm stopping, and uh, yeah, so that'll be the day. Another not fast day, but uh, I have to say my body is liking <laughs> not going as fast, uh, especially my ankle is starting to get, well, I'm noticing that it's starting to get better. Like even on the road walk that I had this morning, my ankle barely protested, which is, hasn't been this, the normal since the last three weeks, so. And blue is the I just want to say, the blue is the Buckeye Trail. I think the green represents like the the local trail for the lake itself. I haven't seen the lake yet. Um, I think mostly because yeah the the green tunnel is starting for sure. At least at the lower levels of the the forest. So you see all these green, uh, fresh trees and all that stuff. So you can't really see past that. Uh, or before, like a month ago, I probably would have seen the, the lake by now, but not so much now. As I re-enter the forest. All right, there. All right, still on this trail. I got about less than a mile left, I think, for the day. Yeah, at least that's what my initial plan was. I might go farther. I just see a little bit of the lake. Yeah, I've been a good couple hundred yards away from the lake the whole time on this trail. On this trail, so I couldn't really see it, but yeah. But I do want to stay in a shelter tonight, so especially just starting out the camp on this wet ground. Or get up tomorrow and have to pack up in the rain. So yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. That's if there's a shelter around here. I'm not really sure. I can never really not tell because might be gone, might be destroyed, might be taken down. But yeah, decent hike. Trail is, has gotten a little bit better than at the beginning, but it's still nice and wet. So, yeah. See you guys later. All right, almost done with the day. I got my first decent look at this lake. Not that, uh, oh, pretty, anyways. This is a little bit uh, full up, and so there's a lot of stuff on it. But 
the trail has improved. It's not that messy, muddy mess that was, but sure, that can change. And uh, it stopped raining for a bit, so hopefully I can get into the shelter, wherever it is, once uh, once I, uh, well, I can get in there before it starts raining again. So that's the hope. But yeah, there's East Fork Lake. All right, later. All right, so I tried to find the shelter that was supposedly here, but couldn't see it. I went to the spot where it supposedly was. And uh, yeah, so since there isn't a shelter, there really isn't a point of stopping early. So, I guess I'm just gonna keep on going. You know, this is a decent uh, campsite. Here. Uh, yeah, I just, just a place to camp, that's about it. But it's not gonna protect me from the weather, so I might as well keep on going. Yeah, better. All right. Start of well, I'm starting. I got about five more miles to the next uh, campground, a backpack or campground. Uh, so it's a little bit unplanned. I got plenty of time because it's really four o'clock right now. So because I couldn't find the shelter, or maybe the shelter was gone. It looked really overgrown where the shelter was supposed to be. So I don't think it's there anymore. But uh, yeah, and so. Since I'm going to get wet anyways, might as well do more miles, right? <laughs> yeah, so that's what, that's what I was thinking. And, yeah, it is on a decent trail where it's not that muddy. But uh, I should change it tomorrow where it's supposed to, well, it's supposed to start raining. Well, it's supposed to be raining right now. And uh, it's going to rain all tomorrow. I think when it, when, I, when it says it's going to rain all tomorrow, though, there's a chance for rain the whole day. And as you get closer, it uh, uh it gets, becomes more specific. So, like it was supposed to rain all day today, but maybe it rained half the time. So, which works for me. But tomorrow, there's actually going to be thunderstorms. That's supposed to happen around 12. But yeah, but this is a nice, nice hike right here. There's a nice creek right over there. Yeah, as uh, the landscape around me gets more green, with uh, some uh, oh look at those flowers over there, spring flowers too. But here's a. Uh, a creek that's going towards the lake somewhere, hopefully. Yeah, so I got about five more miles today, which is good. That would put me up over a 20 mile day. So it being uh, like the 16 or 17 uh, that I was gonna do. Which is good, because I, I keep my uh, Get my miles per day average up. All right. Still pretty cool around here. All right, there. All right. So I'm a little above where the actual trail is supposed to go across, but I think this is an area where I can uh, jump all these rocks. <laughs> Hopefully. Probably not. But I don't want to stop and take off my shoes so this is what I'm going to do uh yeah in order to be successful I should probably have two hands for this so who knows if I will be all right better well I definitely wasn't successful my shoes are completely soaked but since it's like 65 degrees out right now it's not that big of a deal uh and uh, 
Yeah, I have wet socks and wet shoes, but only four more miles to go. It's not that big of a deal. Hopefully. Hold on. I think I'm going this way, actually. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, all the creature comforts, right? So I should be okay. As I get to the camp. And it's not raining, so. Yeah, but it is really warm today. Like compared to what it's been for the last few weeks. So I'm glad I made the decision to send some of my winter gear home. Well, well with Max. And replace some of the other stuff. So. Because I expect it to be a little bit warm. And a few times where it does get below freezing. My, the gear that I have with me now should still suffice but yeah every day if that doesn't happen it's less likely to happen again so yeah yes my feet squelch all right later all right end of day 48 uh april 10th so into the uh, first third of the April. <laughs> Moving along, uh, I was able to uh, get underneath my tent before it started raining. Um, I didn't go the full five miles. There's a actual place and I saw a uh, random uh, Porter John nearby, so I was like, "Oh, it's good enough for me." <laughs> so I, I camped relatively near to that. Uh, so yeah, uh, but. Uh, successful day I think I did around 18 or 19 miles and for a rainy day like today that's good because yeah I was able to get in get inside before uh, before it really started raining oh I got rained on all day but yeah but it's a warm rain so that's good it's like still 60 degrees right now it's nice and humid and yeah I guess that's gonna be the new normal the go went from uh cold and wet to hot and humid and wet in like a week so <laughs> yeah so hopefully uh, uh I'll, I was able to go well I need to look at where I can go tomorrow but since I went a little bit farther today it kind of changes what I can get to tomorrow so I gotta look at that but uh yeah Almost two months in, and I'm feeling good. All right,